Welcome to a quick recap tutorial. Today we're going to look at using formal method long multiplication to multiply numbers by two digit numbers. Let's look at this example. 163 multiplied by 45, two digit number. First, we're going to multiply the larger number by the units digit. Five times three, 15. Next, five times six, is 30 plus 1 is 31. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 3. Eight. We can see that 163 multiplied by 5 gives us an answer of 815. So step 1, multiply the larger number by the units digit. In this example, 5, 45, 4 is the tens digit. Five is the units digit. Now it's time to multiply by the tens value, 40. Remember, place your zero in the units position. That means that you are multiplying by 40, not four. We continue by multiplying like normal. Four times three is 12. Four times six is 24 and add the one is 25. Four times one is four, and then add the two is six. We can see in this example, 163 multiplied by 40 gives us an answer of 6,520. Remember step two, place the zero in the units position, then multiply the larger number by the tens digit. In this example, it was four. The last step just requires us to add the two products. All right. 13. Okay, let's look at one more. Here's a larger number, four digit number, 5,074, multiplying it by the two digit, 36. Step one, let's multiply the larger number by the unit digit. Six fours are 24. Seven sixes, 42. Add on the two, 44. Six zeros is zero. Add on that four, four. Five sixes, 30. Step one, complete. Moving on to step two. 5,074 multiplied by 30. Place my zero in the unit position. That is so, so important. Now, three times four, 12. Seven times three, 21. Add one, 22. Zero times three, zero, and place my two down. Five times three, 15. Step two is now complete. 5,074 multiplied by 30 gives you a product of 152,220. All that's left to do now is add the two products. Step three, four and zero, four, four and two, six, four and two, six, zero and two, two, eight and one, one, two, three, comma. Long multiplication is just about following those three steps. Multiply the larger number by the units digit. Place the zero in the units position when you move to step two, multiplying by the tens value, and then add the two products together. But there are certain things that you've got to do to make sure that you get the right answer. First, know your tables off by heart, get them right every single time. 
Use place value positions. Be neat. The neater you are, the less mistakes you'll make. Add accurately. Don't be careless. Take your time and make sure that your additions are correct. Until you get used to long multiplication method, use partitioning to check each part of your calculations. Step one and step two is really easy to check. Okay, best of luck guys. And I hope this tutorial has helped you.